All right, guys. Uh, hello and welcome to uh, another standard eight man video with uh, Jim here from Sneak and Show. Uh, I'm battling with the Jeskai combo deck uh, that recently won the Star City Games Open uh, a week ago in November at some point. Uh, end of November. Um, basically, the list involved using Jeskai Ascendancy uh, as the centerpiece to try and sort of pump tokens and just force through some insane damage uh, with like Stoke the Flames. Um, and all these sort of like random sort of uh, spells. Um, so obviously using your token generators as spells to further fuel that. Um, and when you need to like ascendancy combo them um, and just beat them down with it, you can just start firing burn spells at their face uh, and looting through your deck with that. Um, so the deck is obviously like a hybrid deck uh, as the Jeskai burn deck and the ascendancy sort of uh, token side of things. Um, the original version of the deck used Retraction Helix and Springleaf Drums, um, I've cut those to try and sort of streamline the deck a bit more. Um, I wasn't really enjoying the 21 lands, uh, three spring leaf drum sort of draws, um, as it sort of led to a lot of like, uh, awkward, like one land, one drum, five spell sort of hands. Um, so we've streamlined the deck, uh, basically cutting the direct retraction helix infinite combo, uh, which involved like, uh, ascendancy, retraction helix and the spring leaf drum. And then just two dudes in play and just looping, uh, bouncing your Springleaf Drum to just infinitely pump your team and infinitely loot for your deck. Um, but we cut that sort of cute sort of like package to the deck, uh, added some like, more lands, uh, in a, an extra Mystic Monastery and another Mountain as well. Um, and then added a smaller burn package as well with three Magma Jets to help smooth draws early on, as well as two Lightning Strikes. So obviously the, uh, the burn side of things is a little more hyped up in this version of the, of the deck. Uh, as well as rejigging the sideboard a bit. Uh, I enjoyed the Manus Rider beatdown plan inside, the side, uh, as well as the God's Willing sort of backup uh, against like Abzan and stuff like that. Uh, but I've changed it up. I've got rid of the oppressive rays, replaced them with suspension fields. Uh, also chucked in the gate as well. Um, the gate has been a superstar for me. Uh, I've enjoyed playing against the mirror, um, against the like all the heavy burn decks as well. Um, I guess also you can bring it in against things like um, I guess all the like the Planeswalker heavy builds out there right now. Uh, it's just a, a fine catch-all at this point. Um, so overall, the deck, as I said before, is a hybrid deck. Um, we've got the Swift Spears and the Seekers and Rebel Masters as our main sort of beatdown plan, along with Raise the Alarms and Hordling Outburst. Hordling Outburst right now is absolutely insane. Um, it's great against the Jeskai decks. Uh, it helps you get around the Abzan decks. You can go way over the top of them with the Ascendancy here. Um, so obviously my plan is to just sort of curve out with like Swift Spear into Raise the Alarm into Hordling Outburst into Jeskai Ascendancy and then just start stoking my opponent by convoking my team, tricking Ascendancy, untapping my team and pumping them, and just getting in for insane amounts of damage. Um, so overall, we're playing this deck for a little bit now. It's super sweet. I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, we're going to run it through a stand 8-man and uh, see how it goes. All right. Catch you later, guys.